This locomotive is a childhood dream for Roland Sandkul. The experienced train driver has known the ins and out of locomotives for over 30 years. However, it's only been a year since he started operating not just any locomotive, but his very own. With this red gem, he ventured into self-employment. But what kind of person does it take to buy their own locomotive? You got to be a bit crazy and of course willing to you know, to take risks. I am not, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't know for sure that I could handle it. There were some workers on the track just now. I warned them to, to leave the track. They were doing some construction work there. The track is cleared with a honk, and off we go. Roland Sandkul is kind of a joker in the German rail network, one of only five self-employed train drivers in the country. Whenever Deutsche Bahn or other companies need extra manpower, he and his locomotive are ready. Today, he delivered sleepers to Lear and Lower Saxony. Then follows the next assignment. He is to transport empty carriages to Bremen. When docking, Roland Sandkul also lends a hand himself. For the world of railways has always fascinated him. Well, of course, like every child or every boy, I had a, a model railway when I was young. And we also lived in a train twice with my parents. It was always astonishing how large the locomotives were. Then my best friend Ralph and I used to roam around the station, spending years watching the locomotives. We were even invited by the train drivers to ride along, which gave me the impulse. From the fifth grade on, I only wanted to become a train driver and nothing else. Him and his locomotive are now off to Bremen. This route is typically routine. But today, there's a problem along the way. Roland Sandkul is in intense communication with the train dispatcher. We have now received a special assignment, which we just call an order. In the current section of the track, there is a level crossing that has gone into technical malfunction. To ensure that it really stays closed while I cross, I have been ordered to stop before this level crossing and use my special key, which every train driver has, to lock it down. This way we make sure that the level crossing stays closed. It's this crossing. Roland Sankul must be particularly vigilant. Not only is he approaching, but so is a car. There are no barriers here, and due to the malfunction, it's unclear how long the traffic light will remain red for the car. His task is to stop a few meters beforehand and use his special key to ensure the crossing stays closed until he passes safely. He proceeds through the area at a walking pace. Only then, the cars may pass as well. But being a train driver doesn't always mean action. Often, it just means waiting. Time for a little tour. All right, now we move to the other driver's cab through our engine room passage. This is the drive diesel engine with 69 liters of displacement and 2,800 horsepower. And here, I have set up a small workbench so that I can repair things during my journey. Whenever the locomotive stops, he often finds unconventional solutions for different things. Yes, when a regular train driver needs a break, they would have to stop at a station and quickly head into the bushes. I have prepared something for myself, a camping toilet. It was a long and arduous journey to fully equip his locomotive. To even purchase it, he had to persuade the previous owner for years. Then, in his mid-fifties, he took out a large loan, full risk to make his dream come true. And in the end, I have invested nearly a million euros into this, including the purchase, refurbishment, transport, and so on. This doesn't include my own labor. I didn't work as a train driver for a year, instead I was here on site. I, I built what I was allowed to do. Well, now I need to work and earn money so that all this can pay off. Also, because there are, of course, ongoing costs. Roland Sandkul takes us to a place that ordinary people don't usually get to see. A special gas station for diesel locomotives like his. 
scanning. My data is stored here. This way the railway knows who's refueling. The price is roughly the same as for cars, except that he refuels around 600 liters at a time. We're off to Roland's last stop, the station in Bremen. Here, the empty carriages are uncoupled, and new ones loaded with sleepers are attached for tomorrow. And with that, the day's work is done. This is the last task for today. We're almost done. We'll just move forward a bit so we don't have to walk as far. And that's it for today. Tomorrow morning at 7, we start again. What are you looking forward to the most? <laughs> I'm already looking forward to tomorrow when we continue. Roland Sankul has found his happiness. Moreover, he has worked hard and taken significant risks to achieve it. In his mid-50s, he can now live his dream, driving his own locomotive through Germany day by day.